Okay, see so Lindelof videos. Solve for exact values of trig equations. If I was just to solve 4 cosine squared x minus 3 equals 0 without this interval right here, the answer would occur over and over and over again, right? Because if you think about what the cosine function looks like, it's cyclical. So if you follow this little thing, it goes up and then down and then up and then down, crossing over a height of 0 many times, an inf actually an infinite amount of times. So we said we only want to look at this on one pass through the unit circle, right? So normally what would happen is you'd put it in this way. So you put it in, solve this, right? This is perfect notation for solve notation, but we get back this symbolic answer, and that's proven by these n values here, right? This n value here, n value, and they go on and on. And what they're doing is they're taking into the in, they're taking excuse me into account the fact that the cyclical nature that we just described. So really quickly to fix that is actually relatively easy. So let's see if we can't get to that. I'm just going to do one example, but let's make sure we do this right. So here we go. Remember, this is what we wanted. We're looking for this right here. We want it on this interval. So to do that, we simply do this. I'm going to use the solve function on the calculator pin. It's right here, isn't it? So I just went to this little library button here. This looks like a book. And when I go through, everything is in alphabetical order. I've already scrolled this down to the solve function because I use it so often. So I'm just going to choose that function, and there it is. And then I'm going to type in what, exactly what we had before, which was 4, right? Cosine. Remember, I had to open some parentheses because of how this was going to look. So 4, I go to here. The button right here is trig. I choose cosine. I put in x. Now, what I had said before is that the calculator doesn't understand. Usually we put in 4 cosine squared, and we put that square right here. But this calculator does not understand that notation. So if you think about it, cosine squared x means cosine x times cosine x. So all we're going to do is this. We're going to go outside of these parentheses right here, the second set of parentheses. And we're going to put in our squared. So squared, OK? To, we're still in the x point. To get out of there, we're just going to hit the right cursor, which just lit up in red. And if you remember, it was minus 3, yeah, is equal to 0. Now we just need in terms of, so when we hit this, so when we hit this comma right here, in terms of, so this just means in terms of x, right? So this is exactly to what we had before. So this is where we're able to set the interval. And if you remember, the cursor was inside. This is super important. The cursor was inside these parentheses. And if you try to load this interval notation into that, you're going to get all these syntax messages and invalid arguments. I mean, it's freaking driven me nuts. However, I have it figured out. So you see, I moved my cursor. Cursor was here with my right cursor. I got outside of that. Now I can put in this notation, and the notation is hidden right here. So I hit the control button here and see the equal sign? In the blue at the top, you can see there are some note, there are some different notations. So I'm going to go in there, and this is the such that key. And now I can put in the condition that I want. And the condition that I want is that 0 is, again, control equal less than or equal to x, and x is less than, I'm, I'm sorry, x is greater than or equal to 0, and x is less than or equal to 2. I hit a bunch of arguments, which, which is quicker. You can type in pi, pi. So where that p is, pi. You can type that in here and here. Or what I usually do for no reason other than habit is I go to this little button here, and I choose pi, right? So all of this in four minutes we've gotten done. So let's finish right now. I have my solve function outside of the parentheses. Outside of the parentheses, I put in this such as notation, and I put in my interval. Hit enter. And now, this is not a symbolic answer. And it is written in the form of pi. On other calculators, you get these answers back. And whatever pi over 6 is, whatever numeric value that is, it comes out. And you're like, what the hell is that number? But here, with the cast, we get this symbolic. We get pi 6. And that's the exact answer we wanted. Remember, if you wanted to do this in degrees, instead, you'd go to your document. You'd open up the settings. You'd change it from radians to degrees. And then here, you'd put 0 to 360. Man, I hope this is really helpful. I think it will really pay off for you. I would truly encourage you to try this a number of times and see if you can't get this thing figured out, because I honestly do think it's going to help a ton. So. Um, 
If you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, or even better, if you have any suggestions about videos that you think would be good for this calculator, please let me know. Peace.